there's a lot of uh, professional women nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneurs, uh, executives. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, women are really climbing the ladder of the corporations now. So what's the psychology there? What, what do you see the conflicts for professional women? Um, they first of all they don't uh, they're, they're very well for all these types it's very externally focused the persona is looking externally like looking for other people to make them feel loved other people to feel the things out there to feel successful like material items uh, the lover is constantly looking for external sensational mm. uh, pleasures uh, the man you know kind of chasing the man and then the mystic is th also seeing almost like the opposite, rejecting the external and, want, and not wanting to integrate. And so um, the challenge for um, a lot of people is the, um, for the professional would be, she has a hard time wanting to settle down because she is, for the single woman, for single professional, mm. She's afraid she's built so much up and uh, she's afraid someone's going to mess up her life. If uh, she brings in a man and like take away her financing or her s financial security, she's very worried about that. Again, attached to the external. Um, also, maybe not be able to have fun. You know, how can I go out and have fun? No, I have to be responsible. <laughs> uh, I can't have kids right now because I'm working on my career. How many women fear getting pregnant because they'd be passed up for the next promotion. And the, of course, there's laws against that now, but still there's that, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to only work part-time if I have a baby and, and that conflict. Um, and so, yeah, the professional needs to integrate um, bringing in her personal life and making that more of a balance in her life. Because you can make a lot of money, but at the end of the day, you really need to nurture yourself in your human personal life and re relationships and friendships and lovers and mm -hmm. getting married and all those things. Yeah. And I see a lot of professionals that are married, but they don't, their, their, their partnerships sometimes are uh, an agreement between her and the husband. They're like kind of power couples, like but they don't have the love. They, they have a contract. Yes. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like a contract. And uh, maybe it didn't start off that way, but then we can get into that. And if that's our default and we forget the love and romantic part, and for some professional women, I find a lot of, most of the time, they're conditioned to not feel. And maybe they had a mother who was cold, or maybe their mother was ho totally emotional and it caused a lot of upset in their life. And so they decided to be the opposite, like, oh, I don't want to look like a chaotic wreck uh, in the world, so I'm going to create this persona of professional um, that works in the corporate world so they don't know how to like get in touch with their feelings many times as well. Uh, and... The mystic, I imagine, uh, somebody like a new age person who is into... They, re they reject money. Mm. They reject uh, a lot of times. So there's always the, the, the ones that don't. But uh, they're, they're, a lot of times they feel um, that money's evil or that to take things from people, you know, take money from people is, is a terrible thing. And uh, they take vows of poverty, spirit, not only in the new age, but any kind of woman, like a Christian woman, you know, does that too, the... The kind of the idea of the nun and the, the monk and the, uh, the you don't you don't have that material desire because you just desire God. Um, one of the other things I noticed with the mystics is that they can be very judgmental about the world and like the right and wrong. And they're very uh, attached to being good. Mm. And that could be really terrible because if they mess up, they're they're the hardest on themselves. They hurt someone's feelings. They're like, oh, like I'm gonna, I'm creating bad karma, and you know that kind of like a, a, an inability to integrate the human part of their life. That we are, we have an ego, we have conditioning. We're not always uh, going to be perfect, and to understand, even though you you're in touch with that spiritual part of yourself, that you can also be a mess sometimes in relationships, and it's okay. It doesn't make you less spiritual. 